All right, hello everyone. Let's go ahead and take a look at what we're going to call an alternating series. Now, what does alternating mean? When you hear that word alternating, it kind of sounds like left to right, left to right, left to right, or up to down, up to down, up to down. And of course, that is similar to what we're going to find with regards to a particular series called the alternating series, in the sense that what happens is that your terms go from positive to negative, positive to negative, positive to negative. So, here's an alternating series. And notice that when we actually have the alternating series, we're going to have this negative 1 raised to the n, or n minus 1, or n plus 1. So, we got the alternating series factor here, and then notice that again we have our sequence generated there. And if we went ahead and expanded this, notice that what's happening is that your terms are positive to negative, positive to negative, positive to negative, and it keeps on alternating that way, which is why we're going to call this an alternating series. Now, there's going to be some important things that we want to recognize about an alternating series, and of course, is the fact that we're actually subtracting some values in addition to adding some values. So what we're going to do then is we're going to say that if, say for example, we know that this alternating series, if we were to go ahead and disregard the alternating part and just take a look at the series of uh, the sequence of values, then if we know that 0 is less than or equal to b sub n plus 1, which is less than b sub n, which means that it's a monotonic decreasing sequence, and we know that the limit as b approaches infinity of b sub n is equal to 0, then we know that this particular alternating series is going to converge. Now let's go ahead and take a look at a very important example of this. This is the, uh, the infinite series from n is equal to 1 to infinity of negative 1 to the negative to the n minus 1 divided by n. Now we know that this is going to be in monotonic degree, decreasing sequence because we know that 0, which is less than or equal to 1 over n plus 1, is going to be less than, sorry, just less than 1 over n for all n that we choose. Now we also know and the limit as n approaches infinity of 1 over n is going to be equal to 0 as well. And so therefore we can say that this particular inf alternating series is going to converge. Now, the reason why we wanted to go ahead and take a look at this in particular is because we know that this particular uh, infinite series diverges. But once we go ahead and incorporate the negative 1 factor there, which will make this an alternating series instead, now we know that this particular alternating series is going to converge, whereas the non-alternating series is going to diverge. Okay? So we'll take a look at some alternating series as well the next time that we meet. See you later. Bye-bye. Okay, hello everyone. Let's go ahead and take a look at what is going to be called absolute or conditional convergence. So now we're talking about a series that is already going to be considered to converge, but we now need to go ahead and make an additional uh, qualification to determine whether or not it absolutely converges or whether it only conditionally converges. Now, let's go ahead and say that a series A sub n, an infinite series A sub n, is absolutely convergent if the absolute value of the sequence generator, or the, sorry, the absolute value of the infinite series is also convergent. Okay? Now we say that a series such as this alternating series here converges, but if we take the absolute value of it and it diverges, we say that this particular alternating series converges only conditionally. And of course the condition is just making sure that the alternating series, or in other words, all of the terms of the particular series is positive. So, what we have, as we saw just before with the harmonic series, is that this particular harmonic series here diverges. But if we were to go ahead and change it so that it is an alternating series, but still with the form of the harmonic series, we knew that this one converged. So, what we say then is that the harmonic series is only conditionally convergent. Now, when might a series not be alternating and yet involve negative term values? Well, the answer to that is if the series involves cosine or sine. 
And so if you see cosine or sine within your series and you know that it converges, you're going to have to be careful to determine whether or not it is absolutely convergent or conditionally convergent by taking the absolute value and determining whether or not that converges or diverges. Okay? So we will go ahead and take a look at some of those problems as well the next time that we meet. See you later. Bye-bye.